What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about Baldur's Gate 3 on PS5 and how the devs are saying that the visibility and performance of the game will be just as good as it is on PC. And also I'd like to talk about how good the game's reviews have been. This game has had some insane reviews and right now it's one of the best reviewed games pretty much ever. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course if you enjoy the video hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. Now, when it comes to Baldur's Gate, of course, it is released on PC already, but it comes out in September for PS5 and then next year for Xbox. And a lot of people on PS5 are wondering, will the game look as good and play as well as the game does right now on PC? Because right now on PC, everyone's talking about how it's in a shockingly good state and how the team is... You know, this over Baldur's Gate is going in and fixing things, hot fixes, updates, whatever they need to do to make the game run correctly and run pretty much bug free. And one of the developers recently kind of got on Twitter talking about the PS5 ver version saying bumping for visibility. Yeah, all of the improvements and fixes to the game will be reflected in the PS5 version and beyond. So it looks like all the updates they're going to be putting out for Baldur's Gate 3 on PC will be seeing those as well on PS5 if you decide to pick the game up on PS5. Now, if you're not quite sure what Baldur's Gate 3 is, of course, there's been some other games uh, kind of, you know, in the Baldur's Gate realm, but it is a Dungeons and Dragons themes kind of game or style kind of game. But if you're looking for really kind of an action RPG, this is going to be probably the game for you. We're talking about a game that has upwards of 17,000 different endings, hours and hours and hours of cutscenes, depending on how you decide to you know, go with dialogue with each character that you create. And it's a game that has tons and tons of replayability. And that is one reason that the games right now um, is really ranking well with the meta score. And of course, that's going to come from players and, uh, you know, people that review games alike. Right now, it has a better score than The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdoms, which is pretty crazy. You're looking at a Metacritic score right now of 97 for Baldur's Gate uh, 3 and a user score of 9.4. And that is insane to think about in a game uh, for a game nowadays. I mean, there's not a lot of games that even get in the 90s. Most games that are 90 plus for, you know, a, a reviewer score and keep kind of, I would say, probably around 8 to a 9 for you know just the player base kind of a score that's pretty impressive but to have a game rating this high between the player base and all all the reviewers is something pretty big and this could definitely be one of the games of the year in a lot of people's opinions as long as the ps5 launch goes well and the game continues to kind of you know play smoothly have you know less and less bugs good updates things that kind of just fix the game in general it's not a game that's going to have a big end game like other rpg games out there this is a game that's pretty much the end game is you're going to make new characters and replay the game over and over because there's so much to do in the game you're going to see different stuff through each playthrough anyway guys leave me a comment with your thoughts let me know about baldur's gate 3 are you going to be getting it on ps5 or have you already picked it up on pc and of course, I'll catch you all next time. Peace.